and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of Primark's makeup range. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. I finally got round to doing it so I really hope you enjoy. Let's get on to the video. So as you can tell by the intro, today's makeup testing video is going to be a Primark video. I've not really tried many of their products before so I'm quite excited. I've got a full face of makeup. The only things I haven't bought are obviously like brushes and sponges because I prefer to use my own so then I know if it's working right. So let's just get straight into it. So the first product I have is primer. This is what it looks like. It's the PHR Perform Hydrate and Recover Primer and it says it's cooling recovery. Do what I'm wearing as well. I am wearing a top. I've just got a vest top on. <laughs> so hot in front of these lights. Just going to apply this with my fingers like I normally would. I'm going to be looking down because my mirror is here. Might have had a bit too much of stuck up legs left on my hand. It smells amazing. It smells like um like passion fruit. I think that might not be it. Yeah, I definitely put loads on my face. Wow. It goes really tacky after a while, which feels really nice. It like feels like a moisturiser rather than a primer. So the next product is foundation. It's the PS My Perfect Colour Matte Foundation. It's got medium to full coverage and it's oil free. That would be good for my skin. My skin's quite oily. I got mine in the shade Nude. So hopefully it's not going to be too dark. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Let's try this out. So I don't really feel like it is medium to full coverage. I feel like it's really like sheer coverage. I'm not getting the coverage that I normally get with my normal foundation. I think the colour is right though. You can still see like my blemishes and everything. I'm gonna keep packing it on and see if we can like build the coverage up. I feel like you need so much of this foundation just to like build that coverage up. Mm, I don't really know how I feel about this at the minute. <laughs> so here's what the foundation looks like up close. If I can focus it. I don't really feel like it's that good of coverage. That's the foundation up close. I'm not really keen to be honest. I don't think I will use it again. Now we're going to go on to concealer. I've picked up the PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer. I prefer the liquid concealer. They did have a stick concealer as well but I just can't work with sticks so I prefer liquid and I got mine in the shade Porcelain. I'm hoping it's got a bit of coverage to it. It states here on the bottle that it's medium coverage so fingers crossed it is and it's not like the foundation. Let's see what this concealer can do. I'm just going to keep popping it everywhere where I would normally pop concealer. I'm just going to blend this out because I don't know if it dries quickly or not. So I feel like that blended out really, really well. Again, I don't think it's got the coverage there that I really like. I love my concealers full coverage too. I don't really know. I think it's better than the foundation. It blended out really smoothly. I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll be back. So that is that with concealer. I feel really pale. I feel like the concealer's just totally washed me out now. And obviously with the foundation it looked dark, but I think the concealer's just overpowered it. Compared to like my shoulders, I just feel so pale. Let's get on to the next product. So the next thing I have is the banana powder. I've always wanted to try this. I love loose powders better than compact powders, so I just get on better with these. So fingers crossed this goes well. <laughs> I've got my brushes down here, which I'm just gonna use. I've got nothing. <laughs> put it onto though. I'm gonna have to pour it into the cap because I've got nothing 
Like, how how are you meant to, like, work with this packaging? It's just like the RCMA powder that I've got. I don't understand how you're meant to work with it. Right, I've got Primark sponge here that I'm just going to use to try and bake. So, let's see if it works. So now I've got... Oh no! <laughs> my powder's gone everywhere! Now I'm just going to go over the rest of my face. So this is what the powder looks like. I'm actually really, really impressed. Like, I quite like it. It's made my face feel really, really smooth. So yeah, I was hoping that it was eventually going to get good. So thankfully, the banana powder has saved the day. But yeah, I really like how it looks. Actually brought back some colour to my face, surprisingly. I think it's because it's like a yellow powder, so it's got kind of a tint to it anyway. So for my brows, I have picked up the PS All About Brows Colour, Set and Highlight Brow Palette. I've opened it up. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> I've just dug my nail into one of the powder. Literally just my look today. So yeah, this is what it looks like inside. It's got a wax, it's got a powder and it's got a highlight. So I'm just dipping my brush in now and it does feel quite creamy, so I'm using the wax first. I do normally use pomade, so fingers crossed I can work with this. So that is one of my eyebrows done. I don't really know what to say about it yet. It went on really well, it's quite creamy. I don't know if the colour's right, it's a bit like Albany. That is what it looks like. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. So this is both eyebrows done. I don't love the product, but I don't hate it. It's got a really like ready tinge to it, I feel. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it might just be the lights, I don't know. For the face, I've got this PS Chocolate Face Palette. It's got two blush shades, a highlight shade, and then a bronze shade. really like the look of this, this blush shade, this looks really nice. They've all got little names as well, so the contour shade is called Milk Chocolate, so I'm going to go in with that first. Oh, it smells of chocolate as well, so I don't know if they're trying to like copy Too Faced there. I like that. It's giving me a lot of colour back to my face, thank God. Mum? I know you're there. <sighs> So now I'm going to move on to my nose contour. For that I use my NARS Eater brush. Now, I don't know if it looks this harsh just on camera because in real life it doesn't look that harsh. <laughs> let me just let me just try and like blend it out a little bit. That look a little bit better. I feel like that looks a little bit better. So this is the contour palette. I actually really really like this. I prefer contour like powders rather than cream contours. I've never ever got on with creams before, so I prefer to use powders. They blend out so much smoother. And this one is so nice, I will definitely use this again. So now I'm gonna go in with the blush shade, and the blush shade I'm gonna use is called Strawberry Melt, so it's just this one here. Ooh, you know what? I like it. That is such a nice blush and it blends out so smoothly. So next we're moving on to highlight and for highlight I have this palette. It's called the 
PS Pure Glow Highlighting Palette. These are the colours in it, so you've got like an ice white, like champagne colour, a darker colour and then like a pinky colour. I think I'm going to use the champagne colour today. They have names as well. From my right, this is called Desert, Glimmer, Eden and Firefly. So I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. There's not a lot of fallout to be fair, so let's see. I love my highlight when it's popping. Did that sound really cringy? I don't know. <laughs> I am so impressed. I don't think they can go wrong with their palettes. This is amazing. I'm going to obviously try out the other highlights at another time. I may even use this white colour for my inner corner later on in the video. So next is eyeshadow so i picked up these four eyeshadows so the first one is a shimmery like rose goldy shade i'd say then i have this pinky color i then picked up this brown everyone needs a brown color for the crease shades it's easy to work with and then this shimmery white for the eyeshadow i don't know whether i'm just gonna keep it simple i don't think i'm gonna use the pink i think i might just put a bit of brown in the crease and then obviously highlight my inner corner and my brow bone just keep it really simple. So here's the little brown colour. Let's just pop this on my eye. Blends out so smoothly. So this is the eyeshadow. I'm going to obviously blend it out a lot more. I can't believe the pigmentation. I think I'm going to have to get myself a little like Z palette to pop them in because they're just little pans. So I'm going to carry on and do my other eye and then I'll be back. This is the eyeshadow. I'm so impressed. Say if I'm just going out, just I like, just want to shove a little bit of makeup on, not do like a full face. I will normally like just put bronzer in my crease. But this is such a nice colour that you can just throw on just quickly. But yeah, I really do love it. I would definitely recommend it. They don't have names, so I can't tell you the name of it. It's just like a brown shade. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is this rose goldy shade. I'm just going to quickly pop a little bit just on my eyelid. I'm just going to use one of my flat brushes. So there is that shade on my eyelid. It's not the most pigmented shimmery shade. It's a really nice, subtle shimmer shade. That is the eyes. So now I'm just gonna do the inner corner highlight and the brow bone and we'll see how that goes. I don't really know how I feel about this one. I feel like it's really, really chunky and it just doesn't blend out nicely. I just put a bit on then and it literally just fell off. So for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go back into the highlighting palette and use Desert, this ice white one. That one's not really showing up either. It's literally just making my, my skin white. So in the end, I just went in with the highlight that I used on my cheekbones. This is how the eyes look. So that is that for eyes. I didn't pick up an eyeliner. I'm not sure why. I don't know if I couldn't find one. I bought all this stuff so long ago, I can't even remember. I'm going to go on to mascara next. For mascara, I bought the PS Amplified Definition Volume Lift. This is what the one looks like. So I'm just going to quickly give my eyelashes a curl and then I'm going to start applying my mascara. Really. <sighs> so this is the mascara. I really like it. I think it's made my eyelashes so long, as you can see. And you can see my eyes a bit more close up now. So last but not least, it's time for my lip. I have a lip liner and a lipstick. So for the lip liner, the Instagirl Kiss Proof Lip Liner Pencil, long lasting, smudge proof and waterproof. It's in a really, really nice dusty pink colour. This one is called It Girl. So 
So this is what the lip pencil looks like. The pencil bit is so big. I don't know if it's meant to be that big. I don't think it is. Oh my gosh. I think it's broke. I've just pushed it back in and now it's literally vanished. I can't even use it. So that's going straight in the bin. I've literally just took the seal off it as well and it's broke. It looks like we're going straight on to lipstick. And for lipstick I picked up P.S. My Perfect Nude Nourishing Lip Gloss. Oh no, I forgot I picked up a lip gloss. I'm going to have to put a lip liner on underneath this. I think I have got another Primark lip liner, so let me just go and get that and then we're sorted. So I have got this P.S. lip liner. It is a bit darker. Fingers crossed it will go underneath this lip gloss. I have used this before and it is a really, really good lip liner. So that's my lips lined. I'm not the best at a lip liner at all, so excuse that. Sorry if you can hear that banging. I swear my family have it in for me today. <laughs> but I'm gonna go straight in with the lip gloss and see how it goes. So here is the lipstick. It's um, very dark because of the lip liner I had to use. Obviously it would have been a bit lighter The noise. <laughs> oh, but I had to work with what I got. At least I had another lip liner to use. So it was a bit darker than what I was expecting, but it still goes with the makeup look. I don't think the lip gloss is that bad. You could definitely not wear it on its own because it is very, very sheer. It's got like kind of a lip plumping effect to it because my lips are tingling like crazy so it's I don't know if it's that but it doesn't state that it is I probably wouldn't pick it out of my drawer to use on a daily basis to be fair so here we have it this is the finished makeup look I am very very impressed with it to be honest to say that it's all Primark makeup all together this costs £32.40, which I don't think is bad at all. £32 for a full face of makeup. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. At the start of this video, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm going to have to wipe it all off afterwards, but no. The end result, I am very happy. I think my least favourite product would have to be the foundation. I hated the foundation, I don't think I'll ever use that again. And then my most favourite product would have to be the cheek palette. I really, really like that, so. This is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below, that big red button. It would mean so much if you did. And maybe even turn that notification bell on, then you get notified every time I upload.